Hey disc golf friends and beginners community, Kale here, and in this video I'm going to give you a look at a new course that was built in 2019 in Pittsfield, Illinois called Lake Pittsfield Disc Golf Course. Um, they had their grand opening tournament, non-sanctioned tournament on October 26, 2019. So let's begin. Lake Pittsfield is an 18-hole course that is open to the public year-round on a beautiful huge lake, and if you're a fisher and a camper, you can do that as well. Currently, there are two tee pads for each hole, a white and a blue. White being the shorter area and blues for the longer areas. Most of the times on most courses, the whites are usually played by amateurs and blues are played by advanced and pro players. Currently, only the white tee pads have turf for the surface to tee off from. Plans are in the process to install turf pads on the blues. In addition to having two tee pads, there are also two pin or basket locations an A and a B, and as you can see in the pictures in each uh, hole. The A is typically your shorter pin location, and the B is your longer pin uh, placements. Course par on this course is 61. Uh, there are seven holes that are labeled as par fours. So holes three, seven, nine, 10, 11, 17, and 18 are your par fours. And this is due to the distance and the complexity of the shot you have to shape off the tree, off the tee. There are three holes that you can just let loose off the tee with no obstacles. Holes three and 14. Uh, they are wide open. Having said that, you guessed it, the rest of the holes are wooded and require technical shots and or placement shots. When I say technical, it requires you to shape your throws off the tee that is, throwing your disc in a control speed and angle to get the desired shots. When I say placement, what I mean is when you play that hole, it's not only good enough to get a good shot off the tee, but you have to land your disc in a specific area that will give you a clear look when throwing your second shot. And as an example, let's look at a hole 10 here. As you can see, you need to not only throw a straight shot, but also when that shot lands, you need to land it to the right side so that you can have a clean look at the basket. As you can see, going early left or right, you will find trouble and won't have a look at the basket, thus having a score anywhere from a four to five and on up. Now, having played the course uh, in, in three times now, uh, once in, in a tournament play and the other uh, just casually and trying to figure out the course, I really like the, the course. It, it has really nice flow. Um, the only flow that, the only constructive criticism that I would have right now as far as flow is concerned is on holes 14 and 15. So after you throw 14, you have to cross over on hole 13 to get to 15. That is my only constructive criticism, criticism on the course. Um, but other than that, it, I think it's a fair course for uh, beginners and for advanced and pro players. And the reason I, I, I think that is, you know, for, for, for beginners, it's a course that you don't need a whole lot of distance on. However, it's going to help you with controlling your and shaping your shots and it's controlled shots it's not you know distance so you're going to throw, throw in it a little bit slower and getting the disc to an area and placing it where you can have a look at a birdie or your par now as uh, for advanced and pro players i think it's going to um, build more repertoire for them to get better at slowing down throwing the technical slow shot uh, maybe a straight shot through through the woods, and, and so that they can have a look at their at their uh, birdies. Um, overall, like I said, I, I enjoyed the course. Um, it's definitely um, you know if I'm in the area, I'm going to drive there and, and play there. Okay, so as always, uh, give us your thought on our uh, and, and comment on our uh, disc golf page. And uh, until next time, I'll see you on the course. See ya.